Alrighty, let's play this. This has music. Cool. All right, I'm going to turn off that music. It sets the tone. And you are saying you want to work or, or you are trying to work here on a more subtle acting shot. By the circumstance uh, of the girl, she's moving out and she has some happy moments. Or she had some happy moments and then it's also a bit sad. And you haven't worked on facial detail just yet. Just some stuff in there. So my, my subjective thoughts when I was watching this was I was slightly... Um, Distracted, I think, was the was the feel by a the camera. So I'm going, is she slowly going down on an elevator? Which I know she's not, but this is this weird thing of well, why are we so low now? If you look at my horribly drawn <laughs> center line, there's so much headroom here. Like I'm I'm waiting. Like is is someone else going to peek in? Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm slightly confused because it also doesn't reveal anything. You know what I mean? Like is there maybe a sign that's gonna come up here? Some I, to me, it feels like, stick to this. This is your framing. I'm going to try it again here. Oh, those are horrible thirds. You think that after all those years, I'd be good at drawing thirds? <laughs> I'm really not. But that's kind of where I would leave her. So personally, I wouldn't really move the camera at all unless you want to do some panning and tilting just to reframe so her head is in, in the same spot. But even here, she doesn't go too low. And it's back here. I mean, it's also the camera's moving. I think you'd be totally fine. Keep it around here. Because then we have a good view on this. We had a good view on her luggage, which is very subtle. But I think it's cool there as a detail. You might want to move it over so that it's kind of like this and then that. And then we see the end of the luggage. So we understand what that is. At first, I thought it was kind of like a balcony thing or something. I don't know, because I'm, I'm an idiot. But A is the camera. The second thing that was distracting was this. <laughs> now, this is very subjective. You can say, well, I don't know. I want to keep this totally fine. For me, it was weird. Like, why? And then you can like, she's, she just finished a sandwich and still here. There's so much. It's also the lighting where we can see the tongue illuminated. So with different lighting that doesn't go through the body, putting some shadows on, it might not be so dramatic. But right now, all I'm seeing is the tongue. Just, I'm, yeah, that was a really good sandwich in this place. Yeah, good restaurant. Huh? All right, I'll miss you, restaurant. <laughs> That's kind of the feeling that I had. Other than that, let's pretend the mouse stuff is not there. I think it's really cool. Technical things, like when you move that forearm up the way you have it, that would be a bigger influence on the wrist. This kind of yells IK hand. Other than that, it's really cool. I like the all the mechanics of this, like what the hand is doing here, the sliding off the door is cool that look i like the lean it's cute with all this has a nice line there and her looking at it and having all the nice memories like you say like she has that look and i'm gonna work a little bit more on the facial features but they're already fairly clear and i like this too i like that yeah all right with this i love this and also love the change in hand posing so there's contrast right i'm always a big fan of this where you start a bit wider and then it's a bit more together here and then into a different pose so there's no repetition i think that's really cool the only thing i would do is because you mentioned that she's also feeling a bit sad is that imagine we're we're not looking at the sandwich mouth she looks here and that's the moment because she is ready to get out like throwing through here ish that's when i would go sad and especially with the especially here on that pause where the smile kind of goes away and it's mostly like she that's it like she is physically closing the door on her on her memories on her child or whatever you know that that house represents to her so it's like all right this is all cool i'm still here i'm still here that's cool but now that she's making the physical uh the act of actually leaving and closing the door on her chapter on her past chapter that's when i would start shifting and to me personally i would push the the visuals of her being more sad so that we leave on the on the less smiley but more on a on a uh you know sorrow kind of look there because you already have that music so while keeping keeping the camera i mean you can always then have a little bit of maybe a bit of pan a little bit of tilt maybe for some handheld if you want but those are to me the big things sandwich mouth camera and just that expression at the end that i would push
because it would be a nice little contrast. And then, like I said, to me, it's like symbolizes I'm closing this door on, on my chapter, but, you know, with a little bit of, not regret, but it's kind of sad, but bam, that's it. Then your name, Demoreal2020. <laughs> it's the end, the sad end of your reel. I think that's it. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm.